hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is anuta the grocery world and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please 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 subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos and today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for uh, this summer hat or a bucket hat and the pattern look like this now for this hat i've used my 100 percent cotton yarn and i've used my 6 mm of the hook now i've made this size uh, for a medium um, adult size it's it's for the medium or a large size you can call it a medium large size so if you're making your uh, this project for you know a medium or a large size it's it's going to be perfect just follow the pattern and if you're making it for the smaller size i would recommend to change your hook size only so cut down your hook size to 5 mm instead of having your 6 mm hook have your 5 mm of the hook and follow the exact same pattern and your hat will be in a smaller size here i've used my 6 mm of the hook and that's why the size of this um hat is uh, medium large so it's it's suitable for the medium it's suitable for the large. So now the measurements i have given the measurements into the video so please check out the video for the measurements uh, this head area is about uh, six and a half uh, inches in size now and it is it is about uh, three or three and a half inches tall and the brim part is about uh, two and a half inches and that's it so let's begin okay so for this one we're gonna take a yarn and i'm gonna make a magic circle here so for the magic circle i'm just gonna put my yarn around my fingers like this and i'm gonna make an axe here like this and i will put my the second strain of yarn at the back and i will insert my hook in this way and will grab the yarn and will turn my hook like this now i'm gonna chain one now remember this chain one is not a stitch we are not gonna count as uh this chain one as a stitch we are gonna i have made this chain one only to secure my this magic circle now i'm gonna insert my hook into my this magic circle and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my one single crochet and now we're gonna have 12 single crochets into this magic circle for our round number one so this is our first single crochet and that second single crochet three here it is i have my this 12 single crochets and now i'm gonna uh, pull my this loose end and we'll tighten up my work and it looks like this and now i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first single crochet and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here to finish up my this round round number one now for the round number two i'm gonna chain up two here one and two yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch where you have made your slip stitch and make your second double crochet halfway done we are not going to finish the stitch here yarn over for the second time and insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops again we are not going to finish up over this stitch and here we have a cluster of this three double crochet now yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops like this and now chain two so it's one and two now we're going to skip the next stitch we will not work on the next stitch uh, and the stitch after that we're going to make another cluster of three double crochet so for that one yarn over and insert your hook into that stitch grab your yarn and make your first double crochet do not finish your stitch yarn over for the second time and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and for the third time yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and again there is a cluster of three double crochets and now you're gonna have four loops on your hook remember for the first time we have made our chain two and that's why we have only three um loops on our hook now onwards we're gonna have four loops on our hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops now chain two again yarn over and we're gonna skip the next stitch and into the stitch after that insert your hook grab your yarn and we're gonna make another cluster here so that's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops and chain 
2. Now keep on repeating this pattern, skip the next stitch and into the st stitch after that have your cluster of 3 double crochets and then chain 2. Again skip the next stitch and into the stitch after that have your cluster of 3 double crochets and chain 2. And you're going to have at the end of this round, round number 2, you're going to have 6 clusters and I'm going to meet you at the end here. And here it is. I've made my this 6 clusters of my this uh, 3 double crochets. Enough. I'm going to go to this first stitch. Now remember this first chain 2 is our first double crochet of our this round, round number 2. So I'm going to insert my hook after that into this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and here I'm going to have two loops on my hook. Now yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops and this is your first single crochet of your round number three. So have your first single crochet. Remember I'm not making a slip stitch and then a chain one. I'm directly making my this first single crochet of my round number three here and now I will go to this chain two space. As I've already worked on this stitch I will go to this chain two space and here I'm going to insert my hook and will grab the yarn and will make my one single crochet then two single crochet and then three single crochets. So here on top of this chain two space we're going to have three single crochets. So this is our first single crochet and then another three single crochets. In total we have four single crochets and now we're going to repeat this pattern. So here again we are on top of this cluster. Insert your hook into that uh, stitch and grab your yarn and make your one single crochet again you're here on top of this chain two we're gonna have three single crochets one two and three again we are on top of this cluster of uh, three double crochet here we're gonna have one single crochet and again in into this chain two space we're gonna have three single crochets and now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this round, round number three, you're gonna have your 24 single crochets and I'm gonna meet you at the end here. And here it is, I have my 24 single crochets for my round number three and I'm here, this is my first stitch of my round number three and now I'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here. And now for my round number four, I'm gonna chain up two, one and two now yarn over and insert your hook again into that same stitch and grab your yarn and make second double crochet halfway done yarn over and insert your hook again into that same stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops now you're going to have three loops as this is our first stitch we have made our chain two here that's why you're going to have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops chain two again we're going to skip the next stitch and on top of this stitch, we're going to have our another cluster of three double crochets. So that's our first, second and our third double crochet. Now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops and now chain two. Now keep on repeating this pattern. Again, we're going to skip the next stitch and into the stitch after that, we're going to have our cluster of three double crochet and then chain two. Two. And by the end of this round, round number four, you're going to have 12 clusters of this uh, three double crochets and I'm going to meet you at the end here. And here it is. At the end of my this round number four, I have my this uh, 12 clusters of my three double crochets. And now again, I'm going to skip this first and second chain. This is my first double crochet. And I will insert my hook into my this first stitch and will grab the yarn. And here I'm going to have two loops. Now yarn over and spool your yarn through both the loops. And this is my first single crochet of my round number five. And now as we have already worked on this stitch, we will go to this chain two space and now for this round number five we are gonna have two single crochets on top of this two chains so here one single crochet and two single crochet again we're gonna go to this cluster and here we're gonna have one single crochet again on top of this chain two we're gonna have two single crochets so that's one and two again we are here on top of this cluster and we are going to go into that cluster and into that stitch and we're going to make our one single crochet and on top of this chain two we're going to have two single crochets now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this uh, round round number five you're going to have 36 stitches uh, 36 single crochets and i'm going to meet you at the end here 
and here it is i'm at the end of my this round number five i've got my 36 single crochets here and here this is my first stitch i'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here and we'll chain two for my round number six now yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops again yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and again you're gonna have three loops on your uh, hook for this first time now yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops chain two again we're gonna skip the next stitch and into the stitch after that we are again gonna make our cluster of three double crochets so that's one two and three now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops and chain two now keep on repeating this pattern for our round number six skip the next stitch and into the stitch after that we're going to make our cluster of three double crochets and again we're going to skip the next stitch and into the stitch after that we're going to make our cluster of three double crochets don't forget to make your chain two as well after every cluster and by the end of this round round number six you're going to have your 18 clusters of three double crochets and i'm going to meet you at the end 18 clusters of this three double crochets for this round round number six and here it is i have finished my round number six and i made my this last chain two here i have my 18 cluster of um, three double crochets and now i will go to my this first stitch Remember, I'm going to skip my this first two chains, one and two, and I will insert my hook into my this first stitch and will grab the yarn and will make my first single crochet of my round number seven. So again, here, here we're not going to make any slip stitch. We will directly make our uh, one single crochet of our round number seven. Now we will go to this chain two space and here we're going to make three single crochets. So insert your hook into your this chain two space and make another three single crochets here so it's one two and three again we will go to this next cluster and we will insert our hook into that uh, stitch and we will make our one single crochet and then again we will go to this chain two space and here we are going to make our three single crochets so it's one two and three again the next stitch will be our cluster and here we're going to make our one single crochet and again into this chain two space we're going to have three single crochets so it's one two and three now keep on repeating this pattern keep on having one single crochet on top of your cluster and then into this chain two space have you another three single crochets and by the end of this round round number seven you're going to have 72 single crochets or uh, here and i'm going to meet you after my 72 single crochets and here it is at the end of my round number seven i have my 72 stitches 72 single crochets and now we can measure up our this top part and it is about six and a half inch and that's the perfect size for an adult hat and now for our round number eight we will insert our hook into our this first stitch of our round number seven but we will take on, only the back loop so here instead of putting your hook like this i will go to this back loop only and will grab the yarn and will make my slip stitch here for my this first stitch and then i will chain up two one and two now yarn over and insert your hook into this same stitch same space grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops sorry yarn over and insert your hook again into that same space grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and now you're gonna have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops now chain two now here we're gonna skip the next two stitches one and two and we will go to this third stitch and again we're gonna take the back stitch of uh, the back loop of this stitch so yarn over and insert your hook into your, this third stitch grab your yarn and make your cluster here so it's one two and three you're gonna have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through four loops chain two and now again we're gonna skip the next two stitches and for the third stitch we're gonna make our cluster back loop only so that's one 
two, and three. Yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops and then chain two. Now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this round, round number eight, you're going to have your 24 clusters and do not forget to take only the back loop. Remember, we are not working on both the loops, you are taking only the back loops. So keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this round, round number eight, you're going to have your 24 clusters of this three double crochets and I'm going to meet you at the end here. And here it is. After my round number eight, I have my 24 clusters of this three double crochets. And here I've made my this last chain two. And now I'm going to skip this first two chains, one and two. And I'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch. Grab my yarn and I'm going to have two loops. Now yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops. This is your first single crochet of your round number nine. Now into this chain two space, insert your hook and make two single crochets here. It's one and two. Now on top of this cluster make your one single crochet here and here again into this chain two space make two single crochets again on top of this cluster make one single crochet and into this chain two space make two single crochets and now keep on repeating this pattern keep on having one single crochet on top of your cluster and then two single crochets into your chain two space and by the end of this round round number nine you're going to have your 72 stitches 72 single crochets and i'm going to meet you at the end here and here it is at the end of my round number nine my work looks like this and now you can turn your work so your work will be like this it's going to be like this so this is my round number eight and i'm going to repeat my round number eight so here i'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch Grab your yarn and make your single crochet. Remember round number eight, we have made our uh, stitches back loop only. Now onwards, we will not do that. We will take both the loops. We will not do uh, back loop only stitches. We will do, we will take the both the loops. So here, chain two and make your first cluster here. One and two, yarn over, chain two. I'm going to skip the next two stitches. And again, we're going to insert our hook into our this third stitch stitch and we're going to make our next cluster here chain two so keep on repeating your round number eight remember round number eight we have made our stitches back loop only so do not take your stitches back loop only take both the loops here and keep on repeating your pattern of your round number nine round number eight and nine until your round number 13 and at the end of every round you're going to have your 72 stitches. Your all even numbers round will have 24 clusters and your all uh, uneven number rounds will have your 72 single crochets. And I'm going to meet you after my round number 13, one, three. And here it is after my round number 13, my work looks like this. Now, if you want to check the size, It is about three and a half inch, sorry, approximately three and a half inch tall. Here we have about six and a half inch wide and it's about three and a half inch, uh, three and a half inch tall. And now for your round number 14, have your one single crochet for each stitch until your next 12 stitches so here it is it is my uh, first stitch and now I'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet of my round number 14 and here we're gonna need our stitch marker because now onwards we're gonna work in a spiral way so the stitch marker will help us to identify our first stitch of our round so the first stitch Put your stitch marker on and this is your first single crochet of your round number 14. Now next 11 stitches we're going to have one single crochet into each stitch. So that's our one single crochet. Two, three, four, nine, ten and eleven. And now into our this twelfth stitch we're going to have two single crochets into that one stitch. So insert your hook and make your one and two single crochets into that one stitch again 
the next 11 stitches we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch one two three eleven and into this twelfth stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch one and two now keep on repeating this pattern keep on having one single crochet into each stitch for your next 11 stitches and then into your 12th stitch have two single crochets into that one stitch and by the end of this round round number 14 you're gonna have your 78 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end and here it is at the end of my round number 14 i have my 78 stitches and now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and we'll insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet of my round number 15. Put your stitch marker back on and now for the first 12 stitches we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch so that's one two three four and twelve and now into my this 13th stitch i'm gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch it's one and two again next 12 stitches we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch so it's one two three eleven and twelve and again into this next stitch and into this 13th stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch and now keep on repeating this pattern and at the end of this round round number 15 you're gonna have your 84 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is at the end of my round number 15 i have my 84 stitches 84 single crochets and now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker we'll insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet of my round number 16. put your stitch marker back on And now for the first 13 stitches one three we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch so that's our first single crochet your second single crochet three four eleven twelve and thirteen now into the next stitch into our 14th stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch it's one and two and now keep on repeating this pattern so keep on having one single crochet into each stitch for your next 13 stitches and into a 14th stitch have two single crochets into that one stitch and you're gonna have your 90 stitches at the end of this round round number 16 you're gonna have your 90 stitches and i'm gonna meet you after that okay so here it is after my round number 16 i have my 90 stitches and now for the round number 17 i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and i will insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet and put your stitch marker back on and now here for the first seven stitches we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch so this is our first single crochet second third four five six and seven and now into the next stitch into the eighth stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into, into that one stitch so that's one and two and now here we're gonna have next 14 stitches we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch so for that one it's one two three thirteen and fourteen so fourteen stitches we had one single crochet into each stitch and now for the next stitch our fifteenth stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch it's one and two now again next fourteen stitches we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch and then into the, our fifteenth stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch and we're gonna repeat this pattern for about four times so here we have done it for one time and next four times we're gonna repeat our pattern so in total we're gonna repeat our pattern for about five times here we have already done one for, for the one time 
now we are going to repeat our pattern for the second time so next 14 stitches have one single crochet into each stitch and into your 15th stitch have two single crochet into that one stitch and repeat that pattern for next four times and your work will be somewhere here leaving your seven stitches behind so i'm going to meet you somewhere here and here it is i have repeated my pattern for about five times and here i'm left with my last seven stitches and here for this last seven stitches i'm going to have one single crochet into each stitch for my this round round number 17 and now in total we're going to have 96 stitches for our this round round number 17 and that's seventh so here it is i've got my last seven stitches one single crochet into each stitch and now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and i will insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet for my round number 18 and now i'm gonna put my stitch marker back on that's our one single crochet and now for the next seven stitches we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch for our this round round number 18 so this is our first single crochet that's our second single crochet three four five six and seven so for the first seven stitches we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch for our this round round number 18 and into our this eighth stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two now next 15 stitches we're gonna have one single crochet for each stitch so it's one two three thirteen fourteen and fifteen and now for this next stitch we're gonna have two single crochets into that one stitch so that's one and two and now we're going to repeat over this pattern so again for the next 15 stitches have one single crochet into each stitch and then into your 16th stitch have two single crochets into that one stitch and keep on repeating that pattern for about five times here we have already done it for the one time so repeat it for the next four times and i'm going to meet you somewhere here leaving my eight stitches behind i'm going to meet you here somewhere after repeating my this pattern for about four time next four times and here it is i've repeated my pattern for about uh, five times and here i've left with my this last eight stitches and here i'm gonna have one single crochet on each stitch for this next eight stitches so it's one two seven and eight and this is end of our round number 18 and in total we have 102 stitches for our this round round number 18 now for the round number 19 i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and i will insert my hook into my this first stitch grab the yarn we'll make a one single crochet here put a stitch marker back on and now for this round round number 19 we're gonna have one single crochet into each stitch all the way around so in total you're gonna have 102 stitches 102 single crochets for this round round number 19 as well so keep on doing one single crochet into each stitch and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is i have finished up my this round number 19 and i've got my 102 um, stitches 102 single crochets and now for round number 20 now round number 20 is going to be our last round and i'm going to take out my this stitch marker and we'll insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here so make a slip stitch here for your round number 20 this is the finishing of our round number 19 and now to start our round number 20 i'm gonna go at the back we're gonna go to the back stitch so here this is our slip stitch we have just made our slip stitch here and this is our back stitch this is our last stitch of our round number 19 so go to that stitch our last stitch of our round number 19 and grab your yarn and you're gonna have two loops on your hook now yarn over and spool your yarn through both your loops and that's your single crochet backwards so that's your first single crochet backwards again we're gonna go to our uh, next stitch at the back and we will insert our hook and we'll grab the yarn you're gonna have two loops on your hook now yarn over and spool your yarn through both the loops again we're gonna go to the back stitch insert your hook grab your yarn you're gonna have two loops yarn over and spool your yarn through 
both the loops again into the next stitch insert your hook grab your yarn and make a single crochet backwards keep on doing this pattern keep on doing one single crochet on each stitch and your all stitches will be uh, backwards so you're gonna go at the back and i'm gonna meet you at the end here keep on doing your this pattern one single crochet on each stitch and you are gonna go at the back like this and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is i have my all uh, single crochets backwards and this is my last stitch my hundred and second stitch and now i'm gonna cut my yarn and we'll secure my this last stitch and it looks like this now i'm gonna put my this um loose end at the back here and it will be all nice and secure now put your this loose end this one and this one in and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is our hat is ready and it looks like this and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye